Hello everyone, and welcome to the start of a new game playthrough. This is The Bunker. It's a old-style FMV adventure game. However, this one is a psychological horror game, and it is billed as being an interactive horror movie, basically. Uh, obviously, it takes place in the bunker. But why are we in the bunker? Well, let's find out. Uh, I actually have seen uh, footage of about the first half hour of this game, and I... From what I've looked up, it's a, at most a four-hour game. Uh, so it really is just an interactive movie, <laughs> pretty much. Um, <clears throat> so, without further ado, let's get started. As I was saying, this is a adventure game of old, uh, especially the FMV games, like uh, the Phantasmagorias or something of that nature. Starts out very exciting. Yes, and um, I didn't say it before, but this is made by Splendid Games, or Splendid Interactive rather, and in the participation with Wales Interactive, giving credit to everyone, as there is a uh, very obviously uh, some kind of <laughs> okay. There's kind of a lot. They're kind of throwing us a lot at us right now. Hopefully that, uh, was that, was that war room planning for the birth of this kid, or I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, just keep pushing, don't worry. You're only giving birth during a horrible war, apparently. Yeah. Depending on how deep down they are, uh, I wonder how bad, <laughs> bad those shells have to be. Well done. Oh, our first interactive thing is breathing. I wonder if I don't breathe, do I just die? Am I gonna die or? Sorry, the baby didn't make it. I'm oh, sorry, guys. I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm wasting all of our time here. I'm just trying to see. Just how crazy this game gets with uh, allowing for. Um... Okay, so yeah, it's, it's gonna make me breathe. Oh my, uh, okay. So, when I was talking about war, we're talking about the nuclear war. Oh, that's cute. The population of the bunker went up by one. However, I, I feel just from that that uh, perhaps not all is well within the bunker. I guess we're not going to find out. <laughs> um, we're skipping ahead 30 years, apparently. All right, that's fine. Uh, do I have control? I do not. It's just that my mouse cursor is still on the screen. So it gets a bit confusing. Apologies, everyone. Oh, there's blood on that. Uh, there was blood on that. Um, medical clipboard over there. Okay, for the being 59 other people in here, we are... All those rooms were devoid of people. You've got to say it again, John. You can't leave me alone, Mom. Still be here. I'll always be here. And you've got to say it again. As long as I stick to the routine, I'll be safe. I'm gonna... Actually, I typically like subtitles. Um, however, 
um, I think they're going to spoil stuff uh, the way that they're showing them. So I'm going to turn them off. Always be here. Stay in our rooms. I'll be safe. As long as I don't go outside, I'll be safe. That's it. Good boy. <coughs> what do I miss it? All right, so we're apparently teaching our. Do time, Mum. Yes. Apparently, we've taught our son uh, to be horribly uh, agoraphobic, which is interesting because he's in a. Well, I guess depending on how the nuclear war went, <laughs> it could be bad. So we have our options of the technical guidance manual for domestic nuclear shuttle shelters, which I assume we're in, the Bible, or Treasure Island. Let's go with Treasure Island. That seems fun. Oh, and apparently, uh, we have to play through the game three times to get that achievement. Still by the time behind another trunk. I think my two. Watch. Apparently, she didn't agree with our book choice. I'm sorry, Mom. That's some real acting right there. When you're crying and actually getting all snotty like that, that's that's real that's real acting. And you guys may not have um, may not notice it, perhaps you have, but our main character here, uh, the man obviously, uh, he actually was in um, he was actually one of the dwarves in uh, the Hobbit movie, I believe. I can't recall which one though. But he was definitely in there. Hmm. Yeah. So is that is that opening thing told you? And I think the day that we were at was a bit before this one, right? I can't remember exactly. However, we have to follow the routine. Our mother made that very important, that the routine had to be followed. So first, we'll do our vitamins and our dos dosimeter. Now, as you may well be, well be aware, uh, a man who was raised, uh, at least I feel primarily by his mother, locked in a bunker his entire life, it's not going to be entirely well adjusted, and we'll see that as we play through the game. Wow, D swallowing those pills dry. I actually do that myself. Uh, I'm I wonder if my radiation level is safe. You'll be fine. I'm I am told that I am a freak of nature for swallowing uh, medication without drink, but that's what I do, man. I don't need no liquid. Anyway. Let's check our dosimeter. Fun fact, these are actually real. Uh, this dosimeter that we're looking in is actually um, actually put into Radiation use. Radiation is just over 70 MR. That's acceptable. Yeah. And, and, and when he talks about MRs, he's talking about uh, millirads. Uh, usually you measure radiation in REMS because um, RADs don't really tell you as much because it doesn't tell you how it actually was interacting with your body. Uh, REMS actually tell you uh, how uh, the radiation would interact with your tissue uh, as opposed to like air or metal or something of that nature. Uh, however, that's, that requires a lot of conversions and depends on the rate type of radiation so it's a lot harder to measure than just RADs. RADs are far easier. And essentially, how it works is uh, there's a little uh, the little measurement thing on there is like an accumulation over time. So it's not telling you where your radiation level is at currently, but it kind of just tells you how your overall radiation for the whole time that you've been using it has been. 
So really what you're measuring is change in the count over the course of time. <laughs> there you go. Felt like I had to nerd out a little bit there about the uh, radiation. But uh, while I was talking about that, we apparently tried to use the radio to see if perhaps anyone else was trying to communicate and it didn't sound like anything to me. Yep. Yeah, but hopefully I'll be able to nerd out more uh, as this game goes on. Uh, because I actually worked with uh, in my early jobs, uh, in my college days, I actually worked with radiation quite a bit. Uh, so we had to we had to deal with all that stuff. Ah, and there's our uh, confirmation uh, from the cameras showing us all those rooms that were empty. We are in fact the only person left alive in this bunker. That seems a bit odd after only 30 years. You would think there would still be some more people, but um, maybe we'll maybe we'll find out more about that later. All right, let's see. Everything is. Bunker radiation yep. is normal. Yep, everything's fine. Good. Bunker's still running. Apparently, it does not require a great deal of maintenance. <laughs> or, or maybe we know how to maintain it ourselves. I don't know. I have I found that hard to believe, but perhaps. What delights do we have today? Oh my. So we keep all of our food in the bathroom? Is that... That doesn't seem sanitary to me, but sure. Peaches. My favorite. So that makes 27 years. Three months and 14 days of food left. I think you'll be all right. Maybe. <laughs> Eating food while on the toilet. I don't... I can't say I've ever enjoyed that particular activity, but... um. <laughs> okay, <laughs> perhaps, uh, you know, I guess when you're storing your food in the, the bathroom, you might as well eat the food in the bathroom as well. Maybe there's just not that much room in the place. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just from... You can actually see like her sunken eye sockets and stuff. It has been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, because it was only like 10,000 something days when we had the cutscene with the mother, right? So she's been dead for... What? How long? I'll, I'll take a... I'll take a look uh, when I'm editing the footage and see how many days it was just to keep track. Yeah, her yeah, the eyes are sunken in everything. So she's had to been dead for quite a while now. What a great drawing. <laughs> I've never seen real flowers. Yeah. It's kind of weird to think of uh, all the things he grew up not knowing about. Uh, just based on the interactions he had thus far, uh, it seems like only he's only ever really had interactions with his mother, really. So I don't know. That could screw a person up. You can get very Bates Motel up in here, apparently. Hopefully, hopefully later on, we won't have our uh, dead mother speaking it's to us. Time. Let's go with the Bible this time. Try and get our achievement. Cast thy bread upon the running waters, for after a long time thou shalt find it again. Give a portion to seven, and also to eight. And thou knowest what evil should be upon this earth. If the cloud be full, they will pour out rain upon the earth. If the tree fall the, to the south or the north, in that place soever it shall fall, there shall it be. Oh, well, that, that, that more metaphor went over my head, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that was about. So are we kind of... Feel that seems like a horrible waste of paper. <laughs> do we have uh, do we have 27 years worth of paper to use a sheet of paper for each day as we go? Perhaps. Yeah, and as I said, this opening seems... I didn't have to click at that time. 
this opening seems to be uh, to try and get across to you, like just how like empty and mean this little guy's life has to be at this point. Radiation is nearly ATMR. It's increasing. Oh yeah, that's not good. Um, <laughs> you shouldn't. You should definitely not. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've had to deal with the actual numbers like that, so I'm not sure how horrible of an increase that is over the course of a day. I think it's pretty bad. It's, it's, I think it's definitely above background, and he shouldn't even be seeing background radiation because he's in the bunker and the sun won't be affecting him. However, fun fact, um, concrete actually has quite a bit of radiation in it just because of the materials that have to go into it. Yep, there you go. So, yeah, so we're checking those systems every day. So I, I, my question is, what does he do if uh, one of those don't check out good? Does he know how to repair it, any of them? 27 years, three months, and 13 days left. <laughs> I don't know how, how, how good it is to schedule your your bowel movements and your eat, you know lunchtime at the same yeah, the point of day mornings were before us but there were no sign of any wind and the boats had gone out and manned and the ship wrapped three or four miles around the corner of the island and up around the narrow passages to the haven behind skeleton island i volunteered for one of the boats so so he has that that map behind him um i can't i didn't get i didn't quite get enough time to look at it to and examine it to tell what land mass that's supposed to be. It seemed like it was cordoned off pretty strangely, though. Alright, you guys ready for day three? I'm sure it's going to be exciting. <laughs> oh my. Let's do it, man. I'm, I'm ready. I'm pumped. Let's do it. Take that pill. Take the pill. Read them. Read the decimeter. Let's do it. I know where he's at today. Eh, it's up a little bit, but not as much as it was last time, I think. Radiation is over 80 MR. Oh, they're not going to make us click the radio check again. We're just going to assume we don't hear anything, I guess. <laughs> but yeah. Like you really have to think about it. Like this kind of, uh, this kind of like monotony by yourself, that really would drive a person nuts. Uh oh. Uh, this well, this is new. Server failure, and then with the error code. Hopefully, we have a book that explains what that error code is. Well, I guess we did have that uh, manual for nuclear radiation bunkers. So let's uh the procedural manual. Where is it? Yeah, we'll find it. Uh is it one of these dolls? No, it doesn't seem so. I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's interesting. He doesn't know he doesn't have people around him, so he carves little people. Where's the manual? Let's check the giant drawer down here. I'm sure that's where it's at. It seems like where you would keep the important things. The manual. Indeed. Okay, let's see. Server failure. Make announcement that main make announcement that mains power is being shut down for maintenance. We I think we can skip that. Find fuse box located in a storage room, level two, and identify damaged fuses. Locate replacement fuses. Shut off ma mains power. Wait 10 seconds. Replace damaged fuses. Switch mains power back on. Perform the systems check. Okay, so we should probably actually know what order that's going to be in. It's shut down the power, replace fuses, turn power back on. Okay. We can do that. Find the fuse box level 2. Find the fuse box level 2. 
Give me strength, little wood woman. Oh, she actually is. <laughs> I wonder if that's the, um... I wonder if that's the, uh... Oh, yeah, this is his mother. From the, from the little achievement down here. That's the toy for his mother. Press I to have to look at our toy collection. Mom. My favorite toy that I made took ages to make the arms. I can see that. And we don't quite have the other ones. I guess we have to earn them. Anyway. I'm not sure I can do this. I believe in you. I have faith in you. And we'll find out next time. Can he do it? I'm not entirely sure. But we'll find out. <laughs> I'll see you all next time.